Hey, what's going on, guys? Monkey K here. Today we got some a little bit different containing Destiny, as always, though. But today what we're going to be doing is showing you a quick little guide or tutorial of how to get exotics really fast. So you're going to need a couple things. So what you're going to need is some three of coins, which you can get those from Zer on every weekend, Friday through Saturday, I believe. That's when he sells them. And basically just gives you an increased chance of getting exotic engram on your next ultra kill. So you're going to want that. You're going to want a couple heavy ammo synthesis. And you're going to want a rocket launcher. So once you have all of those items, what you want to get, get go to is Venus. And then the Scourge of Winter. So you're going to travel on over there. And then it's going to be awesome. So... These three of coins, really straightforward, just basically gives you an increased chance of getting an exotic engram. And I think they cost about five or seven strange coins. And that gives you ten? It's either five or ten of those, of these three of coins. I'm not entirely sure. So you're going to want all of those items. And a sniper would also be handy, um, but you can use really whatever you want, a uh, scout rifle will be pretty handy too, but it's just basically anything uh, that will give you the most damage. So, it looks like we are here, and you guys might recognize this place from a strike. I can't remember the name of it, but anyways, you're going to do basically like you're going on the strike. So, you're going to want to, just like the quest says, enter the Fallen Hideout, find to the House of Winter's Den, and the Cinders to find their Kel Draxus. So, Draxus is the guy you're going to want to kill a whole bunch. So you're just going to go through all this just like you're doing just like you're doing the strike. Gotta keep on coming. You can really you don't really need to kill anyone out here. So you can just skip them all. Just run through with your sparrow. Oh. There we go, nice. You don't have to be in here with your sparrow, but it's just fun to do ride your sparrow indoors. In my opinion, at least. So you want to keep on going. Don't need to really kill any of these fools in here. And we're going to want to take out the Kells guard. So, the Kells guard is going to be way up there. I think you might actually be able to Jump right up here. Nice. Don't need to kill any of these guys. And come right in through here. Okay, actually, never mind. You gotta, you gotta kill these Kells guard things. I forgot. Just gonna want to kill those vandals. They'll be named Kells guard, and they are majors. So this is going to be super easy if you're level forty like me. But if you're not, if you're level 14 and under, um, just, I guess, be prepared. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what to say. Just be prepared. You might die a couple times. Alright, so then your ghost is going to speak to you. la di la di la Alright, so now you're going to want to find Draxus. So, this is where it gets interesting. Or not interesting, but basically all you're going to want to do is run through here like you're doing the strike. Run up here through this tunnel. And go through this tunnel. There's a bunch of tunnels that you got to go through. Just keep following the path until you get to the outdoors. And then it'll say responding restricted. And now it is all good. So the only different part from what you're going to do from the strike in this is basically normally in the strike you kill all these guys and then you go in there. But on this one, you're just wanting to go into this giant ship right here. And you'll get on by just coming up here. And you'll be all fine and dandy. So, you don't really need to kill anyone out here. So, you're just going to run. Oh. Ooh, yeah. That was a close close jump right there. But, you're going to want to run. Don't need to kill all of these guys. If you are a hunter and you have the little grenade that makes you turn invisible, you can use that if you wish. We're just going to want to run. You don't need to kill any of these guys. 
All right, yeah, so here, I'm gonna use this. Turn me invisible, because there are a lot of snipers out here. You're gonna wanna run it through this door, up the stairs, up these stairs, <laughs> and turn, and I'm pretty sure you won't need to kill these guys, but you can if you want, just make life easier for you. Oh, 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 kill these fools. Go this way. And then you have almost made it. So, you're going to want to go through this room. You don't need to kill any of them. Just skip right by them. Go through this door. Up the stairs. La da dee, la da do. And then you're good. So, if you have not already eaten a three of coins, that's what you're going to want to eat right now. And this is where you're also going to want to, if you don't have any heavy weapon ammo, use your heavy ammo synthesis. And then you're good. So basically, Draxus is right there. So you're just going to want to snipe him a couple times. And then hit him in the head a couple times. Don't need to kill anyone in here. Only the big, big bad boy himself. And then what you're going to want to do... Where the heck is he? Oh, he's down here. So you're only going to damage him quite a bit. You don't want to kill him. This is where the heavy or the rocket launcher comes in. You just want to kill him and kill yourself. So then, um, you respawn right next to where Draxus is, and you still kill him, so you still get the Ingram drop. And it's not a guaranteed drop every time, but it's just, it's just a nice way of doing it. And it's super easy, goes super quick, and you just keep on repeating. So I don't think I got any that time. If you got a good sniper, it, it makes this a lot easier to do. A good sniper and a scout rifle makes it a lot easier. Oh, where where does he go here? Aha, there you are. Rocket launcher, kill yourself and kill him. Nice, so you're just wanna gonna do that for all your coins. Oh, we got an exotic, boys. Let's go, we got an exotic. That is epic. So you see, this stuff does work. That's awesome, all right. Get that three coins again. And the nice thing is it always reloads your weapon, which is pretty sweet. So it looks like we got the perfect amount of heavy weapon ammo, which is nice. So bam, bam. Oh, I missed. That's all right. All right, sweet. We got that exotic. Let's see what it is. Oh, helmet. That's nice. I really, I would really like the Graviton helmet for the hunters. That's freaking sweet. That thing looks epic. All right, rock launch your feet, blow yourself up, and just keep on doing that. I don't think we got anything from that guy this time, but that is a-okay. Keep on going, and then this is going to be my last time for the video. Then you're going to just come up here. Oh, crap, I slid. Nice, he's almost already dead. up here and oh my gosh I almost shot there we go nice so I kind of like I like to not look at the uh, Draxus when he spawns so you never know if you got an exotic or not so that was my last one so basically you can just run in here and grab all the loot from the guys that you've killed already so it looks like for this one that we just did we only got some ether seeds which is all right but that's sweet we got an exotic so um, there was another triangle somewhere. If you do do this a lot, you will get a lot of house banners, like right there. So yeah, guys, that's going to be about it for the t tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up button and don't subscribe more videos. Thanks. Peace out, guys.